right. Oh, I hate Butterfree. It's not even good. I just hate it. Fuck Butterfree. All right, let's see. What am I doing about this? I can safeguard with Clefairy. Excadrill is a pretty good lead here, honestly. Uh, it's actually not. <laughs> that show's not actually a good lead here. Ah, uh, dude, I just hate Clefairy so much, man. Or I hate... I What's that fucker called? Butterfree. I hate Butterfree so much. I'm gonna try and outplay it, but man, dude, I do not like this Pokemon. Um, instead of Clefairy... Maybe I'll lead this plus Incineroar. I like this plus Incineroar. Yeah, that's good. All right, and in the back we'll bring uh, Rotom's actually pretty good this game, and Drill. Rotom Drill. What do you guys think about Rotom Drill in the back? My Rotom for his Rotom. It also helps against uh, Togekiss. Helps a little bit against Rilla, um, Tyranitar. I don't want to bring Clefairy. Because uh, the fucking the Duraludon scares me. Uh, not having a oh god three fighting type three bringing three fighting weeks, but I mean I guess Tyranitar is the only thing that could have a fighting move unless he's like Aura Sphere Togekiss. I guess oh I'm fine. All right, thank you so much. See, Cena, I I trust that opinion. He does this for a living. If Cena says I'm fine, I know I'm fine. Wim's got Butterfree. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I expected. All right. So we got to figure out how we're dealing with this, right? He could definitely G-Max the Butterfree and just make me very annoyed. He's going to get Tailwind up. I don't think I'm going to be able to stop his Tailwind at this point. Um, I don't think I Dynamax, though. I don't think I Dynamax this turn. Yeah, I'm not going to Dynamax. I'm going to just double the Butterfree fake out plus uh, try attack. That should be enough to kill it. If it's not, I'm just going to be real sad. Defenses, defensive stats aren't too bad actually either. Are you still talking about Porygon? Yeah, I mean, it's like frail-ish, but it's not, not like the end of the world type frail. Oh, I crit him with fake out. I don't think that mattered. Yeah, he tailwinds, but he's going to flinch. Okay, so we didn't waste the Dynamax turn on this, which one is nice. Um, yeah, and, uh, we're not going to be put to sleep or anything, so that's, that's nice. Yeah, Porygon, his defenses aren't great, but they're not, they're definitely not bad, right? I was running a team with, uh, G-Max and Teleon earlier today, which, that's another very fun, like, fucking explosive type Pokemon, but that thing's just so frail. I was getting one hit by everything, dude. A Specs Rotom one hit killed me with Volt Switch. I was Dynamax, I was Gigantamax at full HP, and Specs Volt Switch killed me. I was like, okay, you got it. Alright, so let's see what he's bringing out now. He's got the Tailwind, which is pretty concerning. Oh, uh, there he is. There he is. So I need to get out of here. I'm going to go hard Excadrill right now. Um, and I will Parting Shot as well, the Duraludon. Is that the play? He can max Wormwind, and it would be pretty annoying, actually. Uh, yeah, Drill's still the play. I don't- I feel like I don't have a choice. I'm gonna keep the Porygon in the back. Because I feel like once Duraludon- Well, he could have T-Tar in the back. Maybe I should have, uh... Maybe I should have sacked it, honestly. Just tried to get a last-ditch try attack off on, um... On, uh, Whimsicott. Yeah, this could be bad. This could be a toughie. He's G-Max, so he can't raise his defense, I believe? Yeah, the steel, it's the steel one. Or is it the dragon one? Depletion is dragon, right? I don't remember. I really don't remember. Oh boy. Ooh, he wants to hurt somebody. Let's see. Steel spike. Okay, so he can raise his defense. That's gonna hurt. It, they hurt. I was right. They hurt. Yeah, that hurt. It did hurt. So stalling this out might be a little tough. He is now minus two special attack. 
got a lot of defense. All right, how am I dealing with this? Um. All right, I'm gonna go for a late game Porygon sweep, right? That's the game plan here. So I think I can bring in Rotom. I'm gonna Rotom and I'm gonna discharge. I'm gonna try and fish for a para. And I'm gonna protect the drill because I should be able to live a hit uh, um, through protect and his debuffs and all that fun stuff. So let's go over the discharge here. It is the dragon one? Okay, cool. This, I'm gonna be honest, this is actually the first G-Max Duraludon I've fought. I feel like D-Max is way better, because Depletion doesn't really do anything, but whatever. So this will break Whimsy's probable sash uh, and potentially let me paralyze the Duraludon, which will be great, because that means uh, I can outspeed it next turn, even through Tailwind. He's also Life Orb, not Weakness Policy. That's definitely worth noting. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have gone, um... I probably should have gone Incineroar. We'll see. Let's see how this goes. If I don't get the Discharge Parrot, it doesn't really matter in the end. Oh boy, fake... Oh, he's going for the Rotom! No! Don't go for the Rotom! No! Don't go for Rotom! That's... Not... I'll take it. I'll take it! Weird play, but I'll take it. So I definitely have to sack something on the next turn. He's definitely clicking that dragon move into my Rotom slot next turn for sure. Let's see if we get a para. Para would be neat. He only has one turn of max left and then I can actually fight him. Para? Anywhere? Okay, got on the whimsy. Not bad. Doral? Hey! Double para! Let's go! I'm good at Pokemon! Um, so Doral is what? Base 80 speed, I believe? So my drill is faster. That's pretty cool. Um, because of that, I'm actually going to keep it alive. What's he got? I'm actually going to look at this guy's Pokemon. He's got the T-Tar. He's got the Togekiss, potentially. Okay, and Rotom Heat. Um, I think I can sack T- I can sack uh, Incent here. I'm pretty sure I can sack Incent here. And I'm, I'll have to double search, don't I? Oh, Porygon. Got some bad news for you, bruh. Right, let's, oh, I'm running out of time. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 Go, 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 go! No! I forgot I clicked the wrong one! Oh, man. That was a hard turn. At least I got a- at least I got Excadrill out. Oh, that should have been Incineroar. Oh, that really should have been Incineroar. Maybe it's any console- Alright, well, I guess he- I guess Rotom died. This isn't the end of the world. Oh! Hey, we landed a Hydro Pump. You know what? Thanks. <laughs> That's cool. I'll take it. That's awesome. We crit him too. Full para. Full para right now. That'd be hilarious. Nope. Okay. Dragon move into the Rotom. Oh, into the Porygon. We live. Very cool. All right. His tail one's gone. He's going to get another one up though. But I don't think that's like, that's like kind of fine. I haven't even maxed yet. Like we're kind of chilling. So Porygon, Porygon's uh, faster than both then it's definitely faster than Duraludon, right? Uh, that's not the threat. I'm going to try attack the Whimsicott right now. And, um... I'll protect the Rotom. Yeah, I'll protect the Rotom. Keep it around another turn. Alright, so that timeout ended up not even being that bad for us. In fact, that timeout play was probably better than what I was about to do. <laughs> so... Actually, no, I would have loved to have Incineroar on the field right now. That would have been great. My Porygon will still be faster than Duraludon because he is basically neutral speed and I am faster than him. So we're getting rid of you. Cool. Hopefully he either gets paralyzed or attacks into Rotom. Let's see. I mean, people. This is great. This is fucking great. <laughs> if his last is T-Tar, I'm going to try attack it. Maybe get some more hacks. Because also Thunderbolt should knock out the uh, oh Togekiss. Okay, that's good. Hey, honestly, I'm gonna double the Togekiss. I want that thing gone more than anything. Should I Hyper Beam? You guys want to see a Hyper Beam? I'm gonna Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam T Bolt. If I miss, I just get sad. That's all. Not a big deal. I'll just be sad if I miss. That's all. No big deal. All right, come on Porygon. Put the game on your back like you've been doing this whole fucking. He's 
scarf. Wow! That did a lot of damage. But that also did a lot of damage. We know, yeah, that, oh, wow. That's good info that he's Scarf. He's locked into Dazzling Gleam, which means he literally cannot beat my, uh... He can't beat my extra drills. We're chilling. What's up, Dady? Welcome back, dude. Oh, I... Oh, you're right. I did take two fake tears. Okay. Cool. All right. So this should seal it. Wonder what the order I do this in is. I could Dynamax Incineroar too. I feel like that wouldn't even be bad. Hmm. Alright, his Togekiss is fast. I can pro Ah oh, no, he's got a lot of defense. I think I think I actually have to kill the um Yeah, I have to I have to kill the Duraludon. So I'll fake out and I'll fake out the uh the Togekiss. And then he can't kill both my Pokemon, so we're good. We're chilling. It feels so weird Dynamaxing a super low HP Pokemon, but one, I really don't want to miss high horsepower, and two, I really don't want to miss high horsepower. <laughs> That's my reasoning. Also, Dazzling Gleam will not be able to knock me out from 80 HP, so that's good too. Also, he's like plus two defense. That's kind of scary. The double discharge um, para was pretty clutch, not gonna lie. That's why I'm, hey, that's literally why I'm running the move, right? You know? He actually can't follow me, puppy, because he he's confirmed choice scarf because he outsped my uh Oh wait, no, he's not. I'm a liar. He set up tailwind, didn't he? He totally set up tailwind. He absolutely set up tailwind. Forgot about that. There's so much to keep track of. Right? There's tailwind up, right? Yeah, he set up tailwind. He's not scarf. I totally forgot about that. Happens, right? Um, I'm gonna rock fall. So if by some miracle he doesn't lose on this turn, he'll die to sand. Okay, so... Alright, he forfeits. Okay, so... That's fine. Yeah, the um... The fake out into Tokius also made sure he couldn't, uh, he couldn't follow me, so... We were good. That covered everything, including the things I forgot about. There's so much to... There's, let's see what he was. Let's see if he had followed me. I hate this fucking Butterfree. This wasn't G-Max, though. Interesting. I hate this Pokemon.